What's up guys welcome to Apex. In the previous video we saw top 10 features on Samsung's all new iteration of One UI 5.0 based on Android 13 which is currently on beta. Apart from those 10 major features here are 15 more features and changes which you guys must check out. If you have missed my previous video I will leave a link in the description. Be sure to check that video out. I have shared 10 important features which are on One UI 5.0. And while you do that, be sure you subscribe to the channel and smash the like button if you find this video useful. Now, let's check out the first one. The first one is gradient colored call background. Whenever you make a call, the call background will look beautiful with some gradient color combinations. I'm not really sure from where it is picking up these colors, but for different contacts, it is going to show you different color gradients, which used to be there earlier as well, but now it is much more pronounced on One UI 5.0 and it looks beautiful on the call screen. The next one is the all new incoming call notification. On the previous iteration of One UI, this is how the call notification would look when your phone is unlocked. And now we have an all new notification as you can see here, it looks much more refined. We have got receive and disconnect icons on the right hand side with the profile image of that particular contact. We also have this capsule design here. We can just tap on it to expand this panel where we have got an option to set a reminder for this particular call or we have got some quick responses right here and we can also write a new message right from this notification itself. This kind of notification will appear when your phone is unlocked and when you're busy doing something with any of the applications on the phone. Moving on to the next one, we have got new system app icons which looks much better but that is subjective. You may or may not like them. Personally, I liked it. It's been quite a while since Samsung updated the app icons. Finally, we have got some changes happening there in this area as well. Not all the icons have changed, but most of them have been redesigned with different color combinations and they look pretty good, I would say. All right, the next one is Smart Suggestion Widget. Let me just press and hold on the home screen. I will tap on Widgets. Now let's scroll down. Here you can see we have got an all new option called Smart Suggestions. I will just add this on the home screen. As the name suggests, this widget is going to show all those suggested applications which we frequently use. The AI is going to learn the usage patterns and it is going to show all those icons which we frequently use. That is again a cool feature. We will have quick access to all those applications which are needed right here on this widget. All right, let's go to the next one. We have got select call background to easily know who is calling. Let me show you how to add a call background for a particular contact. Let me tap on contacts. I will select a particular contact here. Here I'll tap on this eye icon. Now you can see the contact has opened up. I'll tap on edit. Now we just have to tap on view more. Here we have got an all new option called call background. I'll just tap on this. This is where we can set a particular background for a particular contact. And it becomes very easy to figure out who is calling when the phone is little away from you. You will be able to see that call background and know who exactly is calling you. That is a great feature indeed. Okay, moving on to the next one. We have got some changes in sound and vibration settings. On the left hand side, I've got the Note 20 Ultra running on One UI 4.1 and on the right hand side, I have got the S22 Ultra on 5.0. Let me open sound and vibration settings on both these phones. Here you can see we've got system vibration which is separately available. I can tap on this. And we can enable the vibration feedbacks by enabling these toggles here. Whereas in the previous version, we had vibration intensity separately and we had vibration intensity for uh, incoming calls, notifications and touch interactions separately. Now we have got system vibration intensity here. So basically we have got system vibration and vibration intensity mentioned separately. And these settings are more streamlined on this new iteration. All right, the next change is in the notification settings. Let's open notification settings on both these phones. As you can see, a lot has changed here. Right on top, we have got app notifications on One UI 5.0, whereas on the previous iteration, we had notification pop-up styles right there on top. I can tap on app notifications to enable or disable the applications from which I want to see the notifications. Then we have lock screen notifications here. Let's tap on this and see what's here. As you can see, we have icons only and details options here. And then we have got transparency and rest of the settings here. Let me just go back. Here we have notification pop-up style. By tapping on this, we can select the brief or detailed options. These are some minor tweaks or changes we have in notification settings. Okay, now the next feature is a powerful search option in My Files application. Let's open My Files on both these phones. 
As you can see, on One UI 5.0, we have got an all new option under filters called search inside files. Now we will be able to search the contents inside the files as well. I will explain this to you in detail in the upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. Now let's move to the next one. We have got an all new redesigned digital well being, which provides easier access to the features. Let's see that. I'll just tap on settings on both the phones. Let's open digital well being settings here. As you can see, it has changed a bit on the newer version. We've got set goal option right here on screen time goal, which was not there earlier. I can just tap on set goal to set the screen time goal right here. Then in the previous version, we had to tap on this app timers to see the app timers. But here on the newer version, we can see the app timers for three applications right here. The driving monitor and volume monitors will also give us a detailed view right here on this page. We don't really have to tap it and open it. We can glance it right here to see the data. That is brilliant. Let's move to the next one. Let me open settings. I'll tap on battery and device care. As you can see at the bottom, we have got an all new option called maintenance mode. This will protect your privacy while your phone is being repaired. Let me just tap on this. As you can see, it says maintenance mode protects your privacy while someone else is using your phone, such as when you are sending it for repairs. In maintenance mode, your personal data, including pictures, messages, and accounts can't be accessed and only pre-installed applications can be used. That is a great feature that we have here. You will need to unlock your phone to turn off maintenance mode. When you do, everything will go back to the way it was when maintenance mode was first turned on. This is certainly a great feature which will come in handy when you are handing over your phone to somebody else, either for repairs or for any other purpose. You can turn on the maintenance mode so that they don't access any data on your phone. I will make a dedicated video to show you how exactly this works and how this can be useful in different scenarios. So stay tuned for that video as well. All right, now the next feature is create stickers from any picture in the gallery. Yes, we can now create stickers using any pictures and those stickers can be used anywhere you want. Let me quickly show you how that works. Let's open gallery. I will open any of the images here. I'll tap on edit. Here we've got an option for decorations here at the bottom right. I will just tap on this. Now here we have stickers. I'll tap on this. As you can see, it is showing me a sticker which I've already created from another photo. Now if I have to create another sticker, I have to tap on this gallery icon here at the bottom. It's quite tiny. I just tap on this. Now we get this plus mark here. I'll tap on plus and add any other image I want to create a sticker right here. I'll tap on next and I'll tap on done. As you can see, I've got this sticker right here, which can be added to another image while editing your photo. These created stickers can be added to decorate any of the other images that you have inside the gallery. Now, I know it is a bit confusing to understand this whole process. I will make a dedicated video on how exactly you can create stickers from the pictures that you have inside the gallery application. Anyways, now let's move to the next one. Now we've got 16 new preloaded emoji stickers inside the photo editor. So if you are into photo editing using stickers, then you would be glad to see 16 new preloaded emoji stickers here. All right, the next feature is answering calls, alarms, timers without high Bixby. You can just say answer the phone or turn off alarm. Bixby will execute those actions. This update came on Galaxy phones a few weeks or a few months ago. I made a dedicated video on that. That update was particularly for Bixby and this feature was added with that update for the S22 series and subsequently it landed on a few other phones as well. Now, the last feature I would like to share is regarding the share panel. Now we will get a warning before we share any personal information. Whenever we are sharing a photo which contains credit cards or ID cards or passwords, the share panel will let us know about it. I tried to share some images containing credit card details, but for some reason, this feature wasn't working as intended. Maybe in the next beta, this feature should work. These are the 15 new changes or features that we have got on One UI 5.0. The rest of the 10 important features I have already shared in my previous video. So if you missed it, go ahead, watch it. The link is in the description. And while you do that, be sure you subscribe to the channel to watch some interesting contents on One UI, Galaxy phones, Pixel phones, etc. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.